Okay, here's an interesting problem that involves a lot of geometry concepts. We're given a triangle here, PQR, and some lengths of the sides. PR is 1.8, QR is 2.4, and PQ is 3.0. And we're given a circle here inscribed in the triangle, and at the points where the circle touches the triangle, some segments are drawn from the center of the circle, so CD, CE, and CF. And we're asked some questions. First, is PQR a right triangle? Okay, we know it will be a right triangle if the lengths of the sides conform to the Pythagorean theorem. So let's see. PR, that's 1.8, we can write 1.8 squared plus QR, QR is 2.4, 2.4 squared, that has to equal PQ, which is 3 squared. Okay, if that statement turns out to be true, then it is a right triangle. So let's check. Uh, 1.8, we'll just type this into the calculator. 1.8 squared plus 2.4 squared is 9. That's 3 squared. So the answer is yes. It is a right triangle. Then we're asked, what type of shape is FCER? Okay, so this little piece in here that looks like a square. And you could say it's a square just because it looks that way, but we want a compelling argument. We want some steps of reasoning that show necessarily what we know. Maybe it's just a rectangle or something. But um, what can we prove based on what we know? Well, one thing we know is that this is a right triangle. So let's draw that in, just draw a little right angle indicator right there. And we also know that the sides of this triangle are tangent to the circle. So that means that, means that this segment here, RF is a tangent segment from point R, and so is RE. So those segments have to be equal to each other. And we also know that a line tangent to a circle, so see here, PR is tangent to the circle, is perpendicular to the radius at the endpoint of the circle. So this has to be a right angle also. The same thing holds true down here on the bottom. Here's a circle, and this is a line tangent to the circle. RQ is tangent to the circle, and at the end point of the radius, right there at point E, that has to form a right angle. So 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. For a quadrilateral, all four angles have to add up to 360, so this one has to also be 90 degrees. And then we know that CF and CE are both radii, so they have to be the same. And in fact, if this is a rectangle, because they're all right angles, the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So this side is equal to this. All four sides are equal, and all the angles are right angles, so it is a square. It doesn't simply look like a square. We can logically conclude that it has to be a square based on what we know. And there's one other question. Now on your printed page you have room to write in the answer, but I'm going to erase this at the bottom and, and do this work on the page here where you can see. The last question we're asked is find the radius of the circle. So we want a number for the radius. So it could be any of these segments, C, F, C, E, or C, D. They'll all be the same. We want a number for that. Okay, here's, here's how to do this. Let's look at point R here. And look at these two sides, two segments here, RF and RE. Those are what we call tangent segments. And tangent segments from a given point are always equal. And we already actually know that RF and RE are equal because that's a square. But let's give them a name. We'll call them both A. Now, something similar happens up here at point P. Point P, this segment here, PF, and this segment here, PD, those are both tangent segments, and so those have to be equal. We'll call them, call them both B, and then over here at point Q, this point QE, let me draw that a little bit 
meter QE and QD those have to be the same because those are both tangent segments from po point Q so let's call those C now what can we do with that if you look at all those segments I just named those segments form together the entire perimeter of the triangle so 2A plus 2B plus 2C let's write this 2A plus 2B plus 2C have to all add up to the entire perimeter of the triangle so that's all of these added together here so let's add these up 8 plus 4 is 12 carry the 1 3 4 5 6 7 7.2 so all of these have to add up to 7.2 and then let's just divide both sides by 2 and we get dividing out the 2 here we get a plus B plus C has to equal half of 7.2 which is 3.6 and now I can just do a little bit of a clever substitution here watch this this is um A is right here B is right here and this side PR is 1.8 so I know that B has to be 1.8 minus A. You see that? This whole side right here is 1.8. So length B has to be the entire 1.8 minus A. So I'm going to take this equation and rewrite it. But in place of B, I'm going to write 1.8 minus A. So let's write A plus, and put in parentheses, 1.8 minus a and now let's substitute in for C also look at this bottom edge down here this QR is 2.4 so if we take 2.4 and subtract a we're left with C so side C is 2.4 minus a so in place of C right here let's write 2.4 minus a and that has to equal 3.6. Okay. Let me get a little more room. Now let's uh let's rework this. This is 1.8 or just rewrite this rearranged 1.8 plus 2.4. And then look, I have a and a minus a and a minus a. And a and minus a and minus a add up to a minus a. 3.6. And what this what this substitution did was it got rid of B and C or it got B and C in terms of A so A was the only thing left and now we just have one variable and we can solve this and that will be our answer we're, we're trying to find the radius of the circle and this radius is equal to length A so this will be the answer so we just rearrange this let's see 1.8 plus 2.4 is what is that 1.8 plus 2.4 is 4.2 right that's right 1.8 2.48 and 4 is 12 here the one yeah 4.2 so I'm going to continue this right over here 4.2 minus a is equal to 3.6 so a will have to be 4.2 minus 3.6 which comes out to 0 0.6 for the radius of the circle.